Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin, Global Account Manager from Lenovo. I'm back again and today I'm here at the Lenovo Imaging Technology Center here in Building 8 on the Lenovo campus. I've got Yumilka Cranford with me. Say hi. Hi team. Um, we're here in Building 8 in Morrisville, North Carolina and this is on the first floor really close to the briefing center. So if you ever come by, please check us out. Great, okay. Let's go in the ITC and we'll keep talking a little bit more about your services. Absolutely. As you can see, this is a secure entrance, so all of our customer uh, information is secure. All right. Okay. So uh, I'll just start with a little bit of background myself. So real interestingly, I actually started with IBM in 1998. Uh, my first job was here in the Imaging Technology Center. I was interviewed by Jack Chambers, a lot of people know him, Wayne Harris, famous here around Lenovo, hired me back in 98, so that's where my career started. I actually spent seven years working in the ITC and learning about Lenovo services that way. But a lot's changed since then, got new faces, so you know, if you want to give us a little intro to what's going on at the ITC today. Absolutely, so uh, I'm one of the managers here with the ITC, um, and in this lab we have about 30 people. All of the people in this lab will take care of your customers here in North America. So you will be talking to someone here in the United States. We have services, um, our, our common services are image load. We also have image build or image create, asset tag, and uh, bias customizations. Those are our most popular services. We can also do smart imaging services. So you may be asking what's a smart image. It's basically taking one image that can be used across multiple models. So you don't have to maintain multiple images. That's a very popular service, oh, yeah. uh, service with our customers. Um, but we can also do more complex uh, projects uh, like uh, advanced deployment services, which will be creating custom menus for a specific customer that are tailored for users and uh, for the IT admins as well. Great. Let's walk a little further and I've got some more questions for you. Great, so uh, my customer uh, has been using the ITC for years and they uh, use almost all your services they offer. So they use uh, custom bio settings at the factory to enable you know, administrative passwords and those kind of things. They use the uh, load the image at the factory. The engineer here, uh, Ted Krillick, actually developed the image for a while and then sometimes they develop it. Mm -hmm. So, but there's testing, it goes, it's a very iterative process. So. That's my customer, but are there, how many customers are using ITC kind of out of this, off, this location and any other locations right now? We have uh, many customers. I can't think of a, an actual count, but big, number. big numbers that we're okay. talking about in the hundreds, probably thousands. Uh, we also help customers you know, in other geographies, but all of the North American customers are taken care of here in North America. And uh, like you said, we take care of your customer, but we also take care of other customers in other areas. There are some customers that need a lot of help and handholding and we do that with them. Uh, they may not have the skills in-house to develop their own image, so we take that from their hands and we do all of that for them. And we help them through the testing process as well by documenting, okay, this is what you need to test. And uh, once you feel like this image works in your environment and approve it, then we can release it to manufacturing. That way, when you place your next order, your system is ready to go. So we can do as little customization as needed for a customer that's very high tech, Right. But we can do a lot for customers that don't have the skills in house to take on that job. That's where we come in. So we can do a little or as much as uh, the customer may need. Yeah. My customer buys about 80,000 PCs a year, right? Mm -hmm. Huge, huge customer. Um, so they really, if you think of every PC they buy, it saves them an hour of time in the factory. Mm -hmm that is being done by Lenovo instead of having them to do on site, you know, it's an it's invaluable service that we provide. How big a customer do you have to be? Obviously, I can buy one PC and take advantage of this. So. Um, I think you need, you need to have a, a, an install base of a, at least 50, right, to realize the benefits. Uh, but a lot of our customers, you know, buy in the hundreds. Yeah. Um, we have, you know, pharmaceutical companies as our customers. We have school uh, districts, a lot of public sector uh, customers uh, come through here. And, uh, like I mentioned, pharmaceutical companies, we have um, like auto industry uh, companies, retail. Mm. So there's a lot different sizes, but um, to really realize the benefits, you 
don't want to buy one or two, right? right? Um, yeah. yeah, that would not make uh, sense. But 50 or more, uh, you would definitely, especially a small company with, with no IT shop, yeah. would definitely benefit from uh, coming and, and do this with us. Okay. Let's walk a little further. I want to take a look at the conference room here. So, this is just a good. This is a good reminder to me. I think when a new customer comes in, obviously you have to think about: Are they going to do asset tags, image loads? Are they going to use the advanced services? So, I think you do whiteboard sessions to really help with that. So, we, we bring customers in, and so we can gather in the requirements. Um, there's customers that really need help in uh, laying out what help they need. And we can bring them in. We have two conference rooms. This is a, uh, a smaller size. Over there, we have uh, one that accommodates uh, a bigger crowd. Yeah. And we sit with them. We, we listen to them. What are the things that they do today? How do they deploy the machines today? Uh, how do they want that to look in the future? That's when we can come in and give them examples of what we do with our customers and what we think would be, uh, benefit them based on their existing um, constraints. And that's when we lay out what the services are that they need and that they could benefit from. And we can, at that point, we can introduce them to their engineer that's going to be working on the project. And they can establish that um, that communication and that interaction and right. kind of put a face with the name and. and and get that handshake and we'll get that started. Yeah. No, I think that's been a bit of a I'm sure this is unusual, but with Ted Crew, he's been our engineer, has been our engineer for like 12 years, right? Since that report has been developed, really an extension of the customer kind of IT development department right here yes. at the Lenovo IT scene. And I'm glad you mentioned that. So what we do is, once a, uh, for example, a new customer comes in and we assign an engineer, we keep that engineer with that customer for life. Because we, we try to keep that consistency. And like you mentioned, with you know, your customer, Ted has been with that customer for 12 years. Yeah. That's what we try to do. Whether it's with asset attack, BIOS, or an image, we keep the same in here. Um, okay. So they know the history of the customer, they know the customer side, and they know their needs. Yeah, this is I think I covered, I, I, it's been a great service and help for me and my customer. Anything else you want to say um, to wrap it up? Um, I just think um, if you haven't tried us, please uh, talk to one of your services rep. They can definitely put you in touch with us and, uh, and see what we have to offer. And uh, if you happen to be in Morrisville, North Carolina, in Building 8, come by and check us out. Because uh, uh, we're here to uh, provide you a service and uh, make it easier on the customer. Great. Thanks, Thanks. Milka.